Hello. All right. Well, I made a, 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 a 2010 U.S. elections wrap-up that YouTube ate, and then I recorded one on a separate camera um, that I was borrowing, and I don't feel like editing it. But I did want to sort of sum up what happened. So I was really happy with the election. You know, Democrats lost the House. Uh, and for all the people that think, you know, in terms of associations and clans and stuff, oh, that's a terrible thing. But to me, I, I think it went rather okay. Why? Because, for one, it was these blue dog Democrats that went down. Now, I don't mind conservatism, but what I mind about the blue dog Democrats is all the time you have uh, Democrats saying, we couldn't do it because of the Republicans, we couldn't do it because of the Republicans. In reality, it was because of their own... Uh, blue dog Democrats. Those are the votes that they couldn't get. And furthermore, they have to give cover. You know, they have to attack, don't ask, don't tell being repealed because, or being uh, shot down in the courts because they were going to give cover for these guys. It's much more dangerous. Now, I think that Obama, if he still has uh, any of the potential he, he still seems to have, will have a much better time. Uh, putting a Republican House on the spot and calling them in ways that he can't do when it's Democrats. You know, because it's like you can't slap these blue dog Democrats in the face because then your face gets red and you're like, how come it slaps, hurts when I slap you? You know, whereas uh, if it's a different House, you know, and they can shut down the government or do all their crazy stuff. I mean, basically, you know, the Republicans have a reputation of playing hardcore politics. I don't think so. There's a lot of Democrats based on hardcore politics for good and bad uh, throughout history um, with the republic not our current ones but the republicans um, are really good at is making a lot of noise and kind of whining about the ideas um, and historically they, they've been good at, at how to get things done as a minority um, and then when they're in the majority uh, they don't waste any time like the democrats do but partly that's because there, there are some pretty liberal people historically that have been in the Republican Party, uh, they don't have this chokehold, they don't have this Vulcan grip. On the other hand, I have to admit, it's easier for me to say, because there are some benefits to uh, a more liberal party having these, these majority controls, um, and it's easy for me to say because I saw the two Silicon Valley CEOs go down in California, which was very important to me, and the races that were allegedly close in Hawaii I went to Democrats that I actually think are good, uh, caring people f for the most part. We have a pretty good bunch of Democrats here after our, uh, after our, uh, you know, the the more corrupt political machine uh, fell uh, about eight years ago. So. Um, I mean, the other thing, too, is, yeah, there's some benefits to being in the majority and having the majority leader positions and whatnot. But I see that as a fundamental corruption, too. That's not what a speaker should be. The speaker is not supposed to be the boss of the parliament. It's supposed to be somebody that everybody votes for that they think will protect the right of the representatives to speak, you know? Not to have them be powerful because they can silence the other side. No, it's supposed to be somebody that runs the, you know, Robert's rules correctly, fairly, you know, and wants to have everybody speak, and that's how they're supposed to use their power. Ours, with this majority minority leader, is a, it's, it's a tumor in the brain of our Congress. It's, it's terrible, and it's the crack that makes these Democrats think that having 30, 40 blue dogs is good because it gets you those votes. They got hooked on it back when when there were incredibly far-right conservatives that were Democrats only because they hated Lincoln and they got hooked on it and it's one reason that they're not making progress now historically it might have been justifiable they might have amped up what was otherwise due to be uh, a minority uh, that's arguable but this is the uh, modern world now we're in 2010 you know and uh, 21st century here so it's time to play the game honestly and you can't have your liberal party uh, totally beholden to some tiny minority within it that makes the difference uh, between you getting your crack or not. 
So yeah, I think it's okay, and I actually even am willing to extend some optimism that I think Obama, who's very quick on his feet, uh, just might just might be able to handle uh, the Republicans in the House, especially since they now have a weird uh, minority caucus to their right, these Tea Partiers, that is going to make it very, very hard, very, very hard for the more rational and reasonable and traditional Republican conservatives to, uh, to behave in a pragmatic fashion. So, um, yeah, I think it turned out good.